everybody. Jim here. Uh, I've just arrived at uh, Husa Station, um, which is right next to the airbase, the American airbase. And uh, this is actually where I used to live when I first came to Japan. And I have not been here in uh, quite a long time. So it's a little bit nostalgic for me. Um, but I'm here today. This is, like if you go back to my channel, the very first uh, hard off videos and stuff I was shooting, uh, I was shooting out here. That was about eight years ago. And uh, I decided to come back today. I haven't been to the hard offs here in like three years. Uh, I came around a few years ago to, to check them out again. And uh, yeah, so I just, it's, it's, um, this place is kind of far from where I live now. It takes about an hour to get here on the train. Uh, so I don't come out here very much. Um, but today I figured I would make the trip and we're gonna go and check out both um, the Hobby Off that uh, is down the street from here that always has a lot of games plus figures and cool stuff like that. And then uh, the big hard off, which is uh, down the uh, down the road. And anyone who's ever watched like a lot of my uh, older hard off videos, it's gonna be a little bit of a blast from the past. So stick around, let's go find some retro games and uh, explore the old neighborhood. Let's do it. So we're coming up on the hobby off now. It's uh, down the street, like another minute or so. Um, this hobby off is probably about uh, between 10 and 15 minute walk from Fusa Station. Uh, it's actually closer to Hamura Station. Uh, maybe I should have gotten off there, but uh, whatever, I needed the exercise. I'm starting to get a little bit husky from too much, uh, too much beer, and uh, an overabundance of delicious foods as of late. I need to lay off the yakiniku. Um, but yeah, so just down the road, hobby off. Hobby offs typically don't really have much in the way of games. Uh, they're usually only figures, cards, things like that, hobby-related stuff. Um, but this one always had a lot of games in it. I've uh, historically bought a lot of stuff here and hopefully that hasn't changed. Like I said, I haven't been here in like about three years, I guess. And uh, I'm just hoping that they haven't like remodeled and gotten rid of all the games. Um, so fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, and uh, it has been uh, nice going through here again. Like it's been so long since I've been here. And, uh, yeah, it's odd, like, this is where I first, like, ten years ago, uh, this was where I first came to Japan, well, almost ten years ago. Uh, so, it's kind of cool to be back in town. The boys are back in town. I might even go hit up a few of the, uh, bars I used to frequent after I'm done with this little, uh, this little game hunting business. Uh, Alright. And there's... The Baskin Robbins. Shit, maybe I'll get some ice cream. Fuck the bar. Oh goodness, I'm swearing. I'm swearing in my video. Oh god. Um, maybe I'll get some ice cream instead. Uh, but rum. 
<laughs> I'll get rum raisin and I'll skip the bar. Uh, Alright. We are coming up on Hobby Off. Wow, it has been a long time. I'm kind of giddy with anticipation. Wondering what they're going to have in here. I hope I find something uh, both rare and cheap. I don't know. We'll keep our fingers crossed. But well, there you go. The hobby off in Fusa, maybe technically in Hamura. But uh, I mean, let's get inside. Let's see what they got. Here we go. Alright, hobby off time, baby. Looking at some games right away. There's uh, Jetman and Rockman 6, I believe. Airwolf, YY World 2. Some cool stuff there. Uh, yeah, like I said before, uh, this place for a hobby off has a nice uh, little selection of games. We're looking at Getsu Fumadin and more Rockman, Valis, some Super Famicom stuff, including. Axley and uh, Super EDF, Final Fight Guy, uh, Gradius 3, Rockman X3, uh, Cho Makaimura. These are all really great uh, Super Famicom games and the Super Star Wars games. They're a little more pricey because, um, well, they're pricier games for one. And uh, some of them are in really great condition with box, manual, etc., etc. And swooping right around this... This is where all the consoles used to be. They used to have a ton of consoles. Um, but I guess they've pared things down a bit. This is actually much less games than they used to have. Crystal Pocket Station. That was my first ever Pocket Station, actually. Still love my Pocket Station, by the way. Uh, and some uh, handheld stuff. Game Boy games. which They had some pretty cool stuff. Some uh, boxing. Quarth, which is a pretty fun game. This uh, Kunio Kun game, one of the Kunio Kun uh, sports games, I do believe, and I always like those. And that's 800 yen, uh, which the exchange rate right now, I think it's like 92 yen or, or something, 92 yen to the um, uh, or a dollar, uh, whatever the hell I'm saying. 90, it's like 92 percent. So anything you see, so like 800 yen, you can think of that as being like 7 bucks 50 cents or something to that effect. Uh, as we look to some uh, DS and uh, stuff like that. But that's really all they had for that aisle. As we come look at this case, Ovaf uh with Bare Knuckle 3, which is still expensive. 
And uh, some uh, Mega Drives there. A Saturn. I believe that's a high Saturn. Or Hitachi. And uh, other various stuff. We got some Famicom Minis. Super Famicom Minis. Uh, those can be found in uh, uh, abundance everywhere. Uh, and some cool like Fallout thing. And some PS4 sets. Blaze Blue, Persona, etc., etc. Um, yeah, this place did used to have more games than it does now, um, and definitely more consoles, uh, but still nothing to scoff at. As we look at some consoles over, yeah, with your uh, your N64s, your Xboxes, a nice boxed Dreamcast, great shape, 6480, so that's roughly around 60 bucks. Uh, and they want just as much for, like, you know, loose Super Famicoms. I don't know how their pricing uh, works out. But that was a uh, pretty snazzy-looking Dreamcast there. We got Wii U's and Wii's, PS3's. These boxed PlayStations, great condition, 2,700 yen. And they're not junk consoles or anything. Uh, 1650 for uh, the loose console there. That one, I guess, has a few more connectors with it or something. Uh, and then this one here, another boxed DualShock PlayStation. That one's 5400 So maybe there's something different between them. But, uh, yeah. PlayStations for like 20-something bucks. Not gonna argue with that. And uh, some of the PS4 stuff that's getting uh, dropped off in these book-offs, hard-offs, hobby-offs. Uh, great place to buy used PS4 and, uh, well, use current gen stuff. PS4, Switch, all that. It's gonna be in great shape, and it's gonna be uh, considerably cheaper than buying brand new. So maybe uh, this will be a good place to go if you, you're in town, if you're in Tokyo or in Japan in general. You want to pick up some some cheapo PS4 games and stuff. We got some what, Neptunia. Cool little box set thing for that. Other PS3 and PSP and PS Vita. Uh, all that kind of stuff can usually be found pretty cheap at the various off stores. Uh, so, I don't have, I actually have zero current gen consoles. Uh, but if I did, uh, my first thought would be book off or something. I don't think I'd be buying stuff brand new. Uh, PS2, we've got a bunch of King of Fighters games here, all lined up. All great games, including Neo Wave. Siren, various stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, everything in here. Ah, Dreamcast games. Um, with some Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for 1080. So it's a thousand yen. So more like nine dollars for uh, MVC 2. Um, when there's lots of games, they have them divvied up uh, alphabetically. So knowing the, um, the you know the hiragana alphabet as it is is helpful. Uh, for 500 yen, you can get Capcom vs. SNK in really great shape. That is uh, a really great deal on that. And this, bum, 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 factory sealed Power Stone 2 for 600 yen. So that's less than $6. So spoilers for the end of the video. Guess what I walked out of here with. Uh, and some Saturn games as well. There's Saturn and Dreamcast selection. Not... Fantastic. That's something I'm seeing with a lot of um, uh, hard offs and, and book offs, things like that. Uh, their Sega stuff is almost always lacking. It all kind of gets pushed out for, to make room for PlayStation and, and Famicom stuff. And then here we have a complete fantastic condition KOF 97 on the Saturn for a thousand yen. Again, spoilers. Guess what Jim walked out of Hobby Off with? today. Uh, so we've got some Saturn games here. I mean, we've got Fighting Vipers and uh, Virtual Fighters and stuff like that. So we have some of the um, I guess uh, usual suspects for Saturn games. Like really, really cheap stuff. Uh, but it would be really be nice to see more Sega stuff in these places. But look at all this PlayStation. PS2 and PS1. There's just so much. Uh, it feels like a lot of... Um, maybe some other stuff gets pushed out to make room for... Uh, all this PlayStation stuff. PlayStation and Famicom. Those are two things you know you're going to find a lot of uh, when you go to an off store. Especially a hard off. But especially this hobby off. Um, but we've got the Dragon Quest games, D. We've got some Breath of Fire. Uh, these Rockman X4s. They're going for like 2,000 yen. Uh, 
which I guess is an okay price for that. Uh, One Piece, oh, is it Grand Battle? Um, those are those are pretty fun. Those are more definitely you need like more people to play those with. Dragon Ball Final Bout, the first import game I ever bought in my entire life when I was 13 years old, I think. It's now being sold for 300 yen. I don't even want to think about how much I paid for it back in the day. Because I had to buy the game and the mod chip. And then get my uncle, who is a, an electrician, to install the mod chip for me. Right, we've got some cool stuff on the 64 here. Multiple copies of Snowboard Kids, which I like a lot. Custom Robo, some Mario stuff. And uh, lots of boxed Super Famicom games, including Act Razor, Dragon Quest, and the uh, Torneko no Daiboken. This is a very fun game. Seiken Densetsu 3. That game is amazing. I actually named that as my number one game to not uh, get a release on the SNES. Uh, Hyper Dimension, the best 16-bit Dragon Ball Z game, in my opinion. Uh, so they have uh, plenty of good stuff here on the Super Famicom. We've got time to dig and uh, look around. Plenty of boxed games. We've got some Ranma down here. We've got this uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. This is the third Yu Yu Hakusho game. And it has kind of that um, like strategy gameplay style to it. This uh, Ranma 1 half. One of the, the 2D fighters. There are three of them. And I forget which is which all the time. So, plenty of good stuff. There's Puyo Puyo, more DBZ. See, here we go. Uh, the first Super Butoden, 500 yen. It was being sold for 2,900 at um, a game camp in Akihabara. So, 500 yen is a good price for it. 2,900, that's bending you over the pinball machine <laughs> and just going to town. So, yeah, definitely my advice. For the people shopping for games on a budget, head out to uh, West Tokyo, Saitama, Chiba, etc., etc. Get some cheaper games. Here we have a few PC Engine games. I immediately got super excited, and then I was kind of like, eh, none of this, this is all like kind of typical stuff. And some of it I already have, like the volleyball game there and everything. That's another thing. Where are my PC Engine games? Come on, off places. Uh, Image Fight. Great, great game by Irem. Top down shooter. Uh, the R-Type games are their, their classic side-scrollers, and uh, Image Fight are their classic top-down shooters. Uh, we've got some cool stuff on Famicom here. Mappy, fun, classic game. We've got uh, Pro Wrestling, Ice Climbers for uh, 1,500 yen. And it's in pretty decent shape. That's not bad. Uh, so some pretty cool stuff there on the Famicom. Plenty of boxed games. And we got some... Loose N64, GameCube, we got Bleach GC, Biohazard. Uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. Uh, I, I do enjoy the GameCube catalog of games, even though I'm probably going to get rid of my GameCube pretty soon to make room for other stuff. Uh, but we've got lots of Super Famicom loose here. There's Final Fight, and Wrestling Games, Muscle Bomber, Dragon Quest, Mario Karts. Most of this stuff is like 500 yen uh, or less. Um, so, yeah, if you don't mind uh, having loose carts in your collection, you can get uh, all these games for just like a couple of bucks a piece. And uh, that is uh, something you really can't complain too much about. And we have a sweet transition, because I had to change the battery. And more uh, loose Famicom stuff. So we got like Balloon Fight and um, Jaja Marukun, Excite Bike. Uh, again, all this stuff. You know, pretty good games. Downtown Niketsu, which is River City Ransom. Kirby. Uh, Golgo 13. All this really great stuff. Star Soldier. Uh, Twin Bee. Dragon Quest. Etc, uh, etc. Et Most of this stuff, again, uh, very cheap. Like a few bucks each. So if you uh, want to just walk into a place and walk out with a whole bunch of loose Famicom games like this uh, Star Wars here. Uh, but if you want to walk in with like, I don't know, 50 bucks in your pocket and walk out with like 20 games or something like that, uh, you can do it. You can do it here. Here's uh, Niketsu Hakibu for 300 yen. And that's a great game. That was the first ever import game of the day I did. Uh, loose cart of Image Fight. And that's only, uh, I don't know, I can't see. Uh, Gyrodyne and 
Captain Tsubasa. So all this great stuff. So you can walk in to a hard off or hobby off with 5,000 yen in your pocket. Walk out with, I don't know, like between 10 and 20 Famicom games if you, if you really want to. That's an option. And that's about it for this section. I just took notice of this cool little Arkanoid 2 thing. Comes with a couple of paddles and everything. Uh, and then, whoa, we switched again. Because uh, we're coming over to the junk bins. Uh, again, I'm not going to... People have said they want to see an hour of me digging through junk bins. And, um, yeah, I don't know if I want to do that for an hour. I know, breathing in all of the dust and grime that comes off some of these cartridges. Uh, but as you can see, just tons and tons of Famicom carts. Uh, lots of N64. Uh, none of this is going to be like really like hidden treasures or anything. Look, some of this filthy. Super Butoden. Filthy, filthy, filthy. But it's like a dollar, you know. As for these uh, Game Boy games, uh, PS2. They always have a ton of PS2 games in here. Uh, Famicom carts. Mostly you're going to be getting like Mahjong and baseball. So if you just love really filthy Mahjong baseball game carts, uh, that'd be perfect for you. And... Are they? Dig, dig, dig. We got some Pachinko. And some Mahjong. So yeah. Pachinko, Mahjong, baseball. And these PS2 and, and PS1 bins are just like... Always like full to bursting, um, just because PS1 and PS2, I mean, sold so much, so many games just floating around out there. You can't give them away. Uh, and there's stuff in here. There's Intelligent Cube and uh, other various things. Uh, but yeah, it's worth going through the junk bins to see what you can find. Um, there's even like a little bit of Saturn in here, but like really common Saturn stuff. Uh, so if you don't mind a little bit of damage to some things, or you don't mind cleaning the stuff up. I know some people actually enjoy just buying up the dirty stuff, cleaning it, and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Just sit down. It's kind of a relaxing thing to just sit and clean your games. Um, anyway, uh, that's it for the inside of this hobby off. I found some awesome games at great prices, and I was really happy to be in here again. So, hey, let's take it outside. Hey, check me out. Uh, all right, that was uh, still pretty good. Oh my God, it's dark. It was not dark when I went in there. Um, where am I gonna, I wanna sit down and, well anyway, we'll do it on the ground, right here on the ground. Um, so, what did I pick up in there? Well, first I picked up this uh, complete copy of King of Fighters 97 on the Saturn. This was about 10 bucks, really great deal, and then, uh, especially badass. If I can get it out of the bag, come on. I got this factory sealed copy of Power Stone 2 for six bucks. So that is a steal. So, uh, that is it for this hobby off. Uh, it's dark, but I'm gonna keep pressing on. We're gonna head down the street and go to uh, the big hard off down there. Uh, and I think I'm going to split this up into two videos. So come back, I guess, tomorrow for uh, the night hunt at this other hard off down the street. Hobby Off was awesome. Came out with two really good games on, you know, really great prices. So hopefully uh, we'll score some more stuff. So I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.